Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Chris the Big Snowman, and today we are talking about K to the D's. And we're going to try and see if I can improve those KDs with you guys. Um, I can tell you 100% it is not all about KD in this game. KD is a nice thing to have if you've got a high KD, because obviously it makes you look like a beast. However, it sometimes isn't the best thing, because if you think about this, a win is a win, and in my books, if you've done stuff to help your team, like revive, or you've armed a MCOM or something, and you've died doing it, then that is far more better than being able to be a, a player that says, well, I'm going to be selfish, I'm going to camp outside the map, and I'm going to get good KDs. In terms of getting good KDs with 1v1s and things like that, if you're in like a 1v2 situation or a 1v1 situation, that comes down to just practice. I mean, if you, if you can get down your mouse sensitivity and you feel comfortable with switching between targets and things like that, that is literally just skill. There's nothing that I can teach you that can make you a better player apart from find a good mouse sensitivity that you are comfortable with. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit later on in this video how to actually change some settings which might actually help you. But other than that, that is literally just practice. Go onto a TDM server, play for fucking eight hours straight until you feel like you're dead. If that's what you want to do. I mean, if this is what you really, really want to do, just do it. You know, there's no better answer to it. Just just go onto a server until you start feeling like you're not playing as well as you should be. Switch servers, get some fresh players, and then play again. <laughs> that's all I can say. Practice, practice, practice. A lot of people play the game and then they're like, well, I'm doing shit. I'm never going to be good at this game. I'm going to quit it. Don't think like that, you're going to be defeated straight away because you need to be positive when you're doing something. If you want to do something, be positive about it. Say, I'm going to wreck this guy. This guy is nothing to me. Uh, just go that route. You know, don't be sort of like negative. And I know that this is a lot of the mental side of stuff, but to be honest with you, this game, uh, a lot of it is mental. You know, like going back on that guy. That guy knew where I was, but I was smarter than him to go back on myself and get some cover. Little things like that can help you a long way. I mean, that could have been me dead then. That's another death to add to the KD ratio. Um, but tiny things like that that help. Um, obviously, you make mistakes. You make a lot of mistakes in games. But the one thing that you can do about trying to make yourself a better player is to actually think about what you're doing while you're doing it. So in this match, I purposely thought about what I was doing. I was like, right, well, I'm going to look at my minimap. I'm going to see where the most dangerous people are as opposed to the less dangerous people. This bit, I maybe should have stayed back a little bit, but I saw that they were pushing, so I thought I'd push around the other side. And I get one assist, but I don't manage to get the kill on the second guy, unfortunately. And that was just down to me not twitching fast enough or, or whatever. But I was purposely playing with a silencer so that I could stay off the map, because when you play with a silencer, you're going to be taking out the higher class players. The, the players that look at them up all the time. They're going to be looking at you on the map. They're going to be seeing you. And you're going to... That's basically when you get killed. And you say, that guy's wall hacking. He's not wall hacking. 90% of the time, he'll be listening out for you doing some call outs. Or he will be looking at the map. And he'll be able to pre-aim you. Or pre-fire you. And you are dead. So, when you're starting out. And you're just trying to get a groove on for the game. Definitely silence up. Not on TDM, like I've said before, on do like domination or an objective game mode, that's where you're going to catch people off. Uh, TDM, it's a lot harder to kill people and flank and stuff, like uh, on this it was, because there wasn't that many people in the server, but higher player count servers, you're going to be able to do this a lot more on. Um, like sneaking up on people and just generally sort of like I mean, tap firing from that distance. Uh, it's going to get you a lot of kills. I mean, that is possibly like a, a, a time where... Like, I couldn't have got the kill, maybe. You know, if I'd have just missed one of those bursts, boom. I could have died or whatever. But then it's, you know, it's, it's all practice, trial and error, like I said. Uh, final KD in this, I think, was like uh, 15 and 4 or some shit like that. but Or 14 and 3, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, you get my, you get, you get the drift. I'm going to show you a couple of other things now to do with what you could actually kind of do to um, be better with your aim. Um, so that was more the sort of mental side of this stuff and you guys are more than welcome to post in the comment section your help I mean if you guys have got help for stuff like this then obviously post it in the comment section um, Then you can help other people as well as me and hopefully this is uh, all for something so I'm gonna switch over now Okay then guys, so we are in the test range, you can get to this place really easily on battle log and this is all you need to do, is you go into the server and you switch between targets and you try and become more accurate. I am by nowhere in the world any 
like the, the best sort of player in terms of Twitch uh, aim and things like that. I've still not mastered what my mouse sensitivity needs to be. However, when I was in the test range earlier, um, I stumbled across something which I didn't think was in the game yet. I thought that they were bringing that over in the September patch, but apparently it's already in. And that is um, soldier zoom sensitivity. And what this does is I found out if you turn it down, basically while you're zoomed in, it turns down the sensitivity. And if you turn it up, it turns up the sensitivity. And so what I eventually did, and you'll see me sort of like getting used to this, by the way, because I'm not used to this uh, this sensitivity at all. So I figured out, oh, that well, that's way too slow. Like, that is just too slow for me to aim from left to right. So I was like, well, I need to get it so that it's sort of like exactly the same as my hip fire aim uh, to be the same as my ADS. So what I ended up doing was I changed it all the way up to 155%. And it was at, see that? See that over aim there? So I'm sort of like, right, so I know that this is sensitive and this is not. So I adjusted for the aim and now I'm actually getting used to, you know, how far I can move it before I need to stop. Um, and that's just muscle memory. So this is just literally turning from left to right to left to right. And you can see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to sort of see why. All right, so this is how far I need to aim from this point to this point and vice versa for everything else. And basically my thought process behind this was if you've got one aim, I've still not dialed this in 100% yet by the way, so 155% is not what it will be final for me. Um, you need to find out what it is for you guys and what you feel comfortable with. Is if you can ADS and you can switch between targets really, really fast um, and have it the same speed as hip fire, then it's like you've learned your muscle memory for that, if you get what I mean. So it's like one sensitivity. But the problem is, is if you've got one sensitivity when you've got hip fire and you've got another for when you're ADS, it's essentially like having a DPI switcher on your mouse uh, for doing those sniper shots. You know, you know, some people sort of have that thing where they flip the switch and it halves the DPI so that they can be more accurate when it comes to long range shots. I hate that idea. I completely hate that idea. And that's what's built into Battlefield. But if you tweak around with this setting, you'll actually find that you can actually get it to be the same sensitivity as it is in Hipfire when it is in ADS. And that just makes for an all around better player because in my eyes, if you're only having to learn one movement, uh, and that's the, the one sensitivity as opposed to having two different sensitivities, your muscle memory is going to get far more better with what you're doing in the actual mouse movements. So, you know, there's there's logic in, in that idea, I believe, anyway, and that's what I think. So I hope that these tips give you uh, a bit of an overall sort of better view on on Battlefield and how to play. Um, I, I can think of some more other things that I could give you for some points and things like that, but I'm not 100% sure on whether or not they'll actually be boring or not. So let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you on the next video. I have been Chris the Big Snowman. Peace out!